Former Chicago mayor and current U.S. ambassador to Japan, Rahm Emanuel, has now turned into a rainbow jihadist. Emanuel took his rainbow flag to Japan and tried forcing it on to the people of Japan. Emanuel tweeted, quote, now is the time, now is the moment for Japan to be all that Japan can be. You could feel the energy in the air at Tokyo Pride. Today was a parade with purpose. But the Japanese people aren't really having it. One person told Emmanuel, we don't have your country's problem. Japan is in America. Don't divide our country. I don't mean to sound arrogant, but it's not your place as an ambassador to push your agenda onto us this way. And one of our favorite Japanese reporters, Masako Ganaha, also jumped in to tell Emmanuel to back off by saying, quote, we don't need this U.S. ambassador destroying Japan. The U.S. ambassador pushing LGBTQ ideology to, to Japan. Please fix Chicago before ruining my country. And Japan is feeling the effects of the rainbow wave in Japan. Masako has been reporting on public bathrooms in Japan being used as gay hookup locations. This one Japanese hot spring says it's had to put up signs warning LGBT bathers not to use the bathing rooms for hookup spots. They've also told Masako they've had to call police over 70 times in the past five years regarding gays using their facilities for hookups. And joining us now to discuss is Masako Ganaha. Masako, thanks for being here. Man, it seems like one of the biggest exports of the United States these days is the LGBTQ propaganda that's being shoved down our throats here. And now they're trying to just sh shove it down the throats of the people of Japan. Yes, and now people in Japan, we are so upset because he is, uh, this is clearly the interference of domestic affairs. So many Japanese people are concerned and writing a lot of the comments uh, to the ambassador saying that he should not push this ideology to us. Yeah, and you know, we talked about this a little bit on the show yesterday with someone who provides commentary and analysis from the Claremont Institute, that Jeremy Carl, on what a social contagion the LGBTQ ideology is. And that's something that the Biden administration knows, that it can spread very quickly. And it sounds like there has been a little bit of an issue with these bathhouses in Japan over the last five years, do you see that the U.S.'s influence of the LBGTQ propaganda is having an effect in Japan? Is it spreading somewhat like a social contagion? Yes, uh, this is uh, like a pandemic, and it's a bad one. And uh, the hot spring I visited uh, a couple of days ago, uh, I was I I heard that this public bus has very unique sign. So I just went there without uh, making any appointment and asked uh, to take a photo of the sign. But the owner was very, uh, got very excited because the reporter actually came to hear what he has to say. And he showed inside and then he talked to me what has been happening. And according to him, so um, maybe first I have to briefly explain it to you what public bus is. In Japan, we have this culture that we go to Sento. Sento is Japanese word meaning public bus or hot spring. So there is a men's section and women's section. And I went to men's section and saw the sign. And it says, uh, actually, it, it says in English also. Let me read it for you. Dear customers, this is not a place for improper meetup sexual relations. So I asked the owner what exactly those people are doing. And the answer was something that I cannot say in this program. Uh, because he said those especially gay people are uh, having uh, basically sex right in front of the public. So within the five years, they called 70 times to the police station and over 100 people were taken to uh, police. So those ideology is uh, spreading even to Japan. And now the ambassador is pushing to pass the law in our diet. So this is very disgusting and it's uh, something that we 
Japanese cannot be quiet about. So let me ask you about this law that Rahm Emanuel is pushing. Exactly what would it look to codify the, spe the specifications? And then do you, where does Japanese lawmakers sit on the issue now? Do you think it's dead on arrival? Or is there a possibility, to, possibility that Emanuel's influence could end up in this, in this law being implemented in Japan? Yes, his voice is very strong because he's the U.S. ambassador mm. and he uh, actually participated in the Tokyo Pride Parade that happened uh, last month. And if you go to his Twitter, uh, you can see his tweet saying about Japan should be the place for everyone to have co comfort, something like that. And so he's addressing a lot and he took a photo with a Japanese politician saying that those people support this LGBT, that this, this photo, he's saying those people support legislation. So he's uh, pushing this, uh, cre trying to create this mood for all of the politicians to follow him. Because uh, this month in May, there is going to be G7 and Japanese politicians are saying we have to meet the international standards. So they're using international standards. But that's not what we can destroy our culture. Uh, that cannot be the reason. And what the legislation is about is there is a one word that many people are concerned about. It's the word gender identification. If we pass this law with this terminology, in Japan, people who is physically men can say, oh, I'm a woman and he or she should not be discriminated against. This is like a Pandora box because this gender identification doesn't have a specific meaning in the legislation. So once we pass this, anything can happen. Yeah, we know all about that here in the United States, Masako. I hope that the Japanese people People are stronger, do a better job standing up before any of this is implemented. This is great reporting. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll keep an eye on this as they continue to try to push this leg legislation and have you back for an update on it. And you and our audience- Can I have just one Masako's Great reporting. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, sorry, uh, just one last thing. LGBT people actually had a press conference saying they oppose this legislation. So just let me read two sentences there. Uh, at, their, their statement was, says, LGBT activists in the media do not represent us LGBT people. All we, we want all women and all men who want to protect women to oppose the LGBT law. So Japanese people, including those minority, are opposing this legislation. Yeah, very interesting. We'll keep an eye on this, and you can keep an eye on Masako's reporting on Twitter at Ganaha, G-A-N-A-H-A, Ganaha underscore Masako.